Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. Who knows that the OnePlus RAD stopped with the new Oxynos update as per their update policy, so we will not getting any Oxynos 14, so on. But finally, the day came, the great developer Lenia brought the fully working Evolution X Android 14 custom ROM for OnePlus Nord 2 with the fully almost working OnePlus camera and the gallery application which you are waiting from the decades from the custom ROM developers community. Today in this video, I will just show you how to flash this new custom ROM, what are the initial requirements before flashing, review with the flashing process, making the video lengthy, so I kept the flashing process separate. Full in-depth review for the new Evolution X under 14 will be available by tomorrow and its link will be found under this video description or via YouTube notification. So please subscribe and press the bell icon for the upcoming notifications of our channel. Before flashing this custom ROM, your device must be on the OxonOS Android 13 version. Here I am using the OxonOS 13 F50 on my OnePlus Nord 2. Next step you have to do is to enable the MTK client and the BROM mode and the fastboot mode by following this video. Its link is also available under the video description. That tutorial will work for all the OxonOS 13 version from the F47 to F50. Hope you enabled the fastboot mode via that tutorial. So now the further do. Let's start with the actual flashing process of Evolution X. On the new adventure. On the new adventure. As I already told in the intro, you need to be on any Oxon S13 version with the fast boot enabled on your device. Here I'm using the Oxon OS F50 Android 13 build on my OnePlus Nord 2. I had already enabled the fast boot mode using the mod video tutorial I created one month before. Your device bootloader must be unlocked and the USB debugging must be enabled on the Oxonus 13 build. Now power up the device and long press all the keys like volume up down and power button at the same time which will boot your device into the fast boot mode like these tiny letters on your device screen. Now connect your phone to the PC, your PC must have latest fastboot drivers installed. You need to download the full ROM zip file and the new recovery image file. Place them in one folder in the platform tools of your C drive. Now open the PowerShell window inside the same folder using the shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse and select the open PowerShell window here from the drop down menu. Now in the same type fastboot devices, once your device got detected with your device ID you are good to go. Next to flash the recovery type command fastboot flash recovery and drag the recovery image file in the CMD and hit enter. Once flashing of new recovery completes, next type the command fastboot reboot recovery. You will see your device boots into this new evolution X recovery. In the recovery tap apply update then tap apply update from the ADB. Now type the command ADB side load and drag the ROM zip file to locate its location in the CMD. Now hit enter, you will see the flashing of new ROM will get started with the flashing percentage of 1, 2, 3 and so on. Once it reaches to the 46%, it feels like flashing got struck, but don't worry after a few minutes you will see this 1x per notification in the same D. It means flashing is completed. All the flashing process will take 5 to 10 minutes. Now in the recovery tab, factory set and then tab format data, this will erase all the data on your device. Now tap reboot to system. That's it, our device will start to boot into the new version X Android 14 build, which is based on the new Oxonos 13 vendor, so it has nearly stable experience, new Oxonos camera, gallery, who tested all the things are working or not, its performance, bugs, these all things we will discuss in the another video which will be available by tomorrow and its link will be available once it's got uploaded until then if you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming content from oneplus not 2 thanks for watching take care bye bye